Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bring back a much beloved feature that Adobe seemingly took away when they introduced the new Select and Mask workspace. Now, we used to have something called Refine Edge, and when Adobe replaced that with Select and Mask, Essentially, a lot of people got upset because they liked Refine Edge. They liked the way it works. And the Select and Mask feature is good in some cases, and some people are complaining about it. So wouldn't it be great if we could just get back the same old Refine Edge that we always had? Of course it would. So let's take a look at how we can bring it back. First things first, I'm going to create a new layer here, and I'm just going to make it white and fill it with white. That way we've got it. And then what I'll do is duplicate the background layer and we'll put this above the white layer for now. That way we can see it when we're finished. Now, the first thing you have to understand is that you need an active selection of whatever it is you're doing. So in this case, I'll use the quick select tool just to quickly brush around the profile of this young lady. And once I have an active selection around there, I can go up to the select menu. Now inside of the select menu is something called select and mask. It's the same thing as the button you would see in the control panel if you were to simply be working in Photoshop. However, instead of just clicking on this, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click it. And ho oh, ho, there is Refine Edge, the same old tool that we all know and love in its own little panel. And how do we use it? Same way we always did. Just draw with a little brush around here. I'll draw around her hair to pick up all of those little pieces. And I know all of you right now are probably freaking out like, oh my gosh, I finally got my favorite selection tool back. Yes. And that's exactly what I thought the first time I saw this little <laughs> trick because I've had my share of frustrations with Select and Mask as well. So once I do that, I'll let go. Check it out. Look how great it picks up the hair. I'll go right around the chin and the neckline, which is also a little rough. It automatically smooths that out for me. We'll go around the lips and the nose to kind of complete our selection. And again, I've got this on a white background, so it's showing me the original. I can also see this just on an overlay if I want to. I could see this on black if I need to, and it looks pretty darn good. Now, there's some areas in here I might want to clean up in the hair. We can do that really quickly just by brushing on it again. And I can even shrink the size of my brush just a tad bit, zoom in. And remember, this is just like the selected mask of old. So I come in here, I can hold down the option or alt key, and I can kind of brush around in here to say, nope, you know what? I really don't want that. Or yes, I do. I kind of want this hair to come back just a little bit inside of there. And bingo, there's the hair. And then we can come down here, hit contaminate or decontaminate colors. That's going to do a lot to fix that up. And then once we're finished with that, we can say, put this on a new layer as a layer mask. And then what we're going to do is hit OK. Now you see her on a white background. There's still some areas in the mask that I might clean up. So I'll hold down the option or alt key to clean these up. Come in here, grab my brush tool, just the regular old brush tool with the white color selected, increase the size of the brush, just go right along the edge of this to clean it up. As you can see, really easy to do, making sure that I keep all of that in there. And then I'll give you one last final trick, folks, something that you might not have known about painting on a layer mask inside of Photoshop. Check this out. Watch what happens. I'll just go ahead and fill in some more of these areas here before I start doing it. All right. So let's say you've got some of these areas here that are a little bit harder to work on and you don't want to mess them up. Increase the size of your brush a little bit. Change the blend mode from normal to overlay. Once I do that, watch what happens. I can click around on this and anything that is kind of white automatically becomes white. Anything that's kind of black automatically becomes black. You can switch over and knock out little pieces there. Same thing if I come up here. Oops. There we go, adding in little pieces of white without adding in pieces of black. And we can do the same thing with the hair, just kind of brushing around in there. And it just kind of cleans up some of those areas if we want to clean those up. And same thing with black, just paint with black. Hit X, there we go. There we go, nice little cleanup of the hair, just like that. Ah, oh, that's nice. And then switch back to white. We'll do the same thing in here. And notice how any area that needs to be pure white, it keeps pure white. Anything that doesn't, it keeps black. 
all the way around and let's minimize and that looks like a pretty darn good selection set maybe down there on the shoulder and we'll just kind of brush that in still using overlay there we go and one last little thing right here around the neckline and the chin cleans it up and now option or alt click and boom there we have a beautiful selection of this young lady and she is on this white background so there you go folks how to quickly and easily bring back refine edge inside of photoshop so if you're one of those people that dislikes the new select and mask feature this is how you get back your old favorite tool refine edge all right thanks a lot for watching this tutorial folks if you don't mind follow me on twitter i'm at justin seeley you can also check me out on facebook facebook.com forward slash Sealy Training. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free content like what you've just seen here. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.